All right, so we just went over do recording, and now we're going to go over to do HTTP requests. So just like people can send HTTP requests to NX Witness in the form of a generic event, NX Witness also has the ability to send HTTP requests out of NX Witness um, to third-party services or devices, and that allows our system to basically tell other systems that this thing just happened, and then they can do something with it, just like we can do it with generic events. So how does it work? Um, you go to the rules engine, camera settings, camera rules. All right, we're going to go to actually the soft trigger. We're going to use the soft trigger again. So let me find soft trigger real fast. Boop. On soft trigger. I'm going to cancel that. So on soft trigger, on back right too, we want to do a HTTP request. All right, so same as always, you get an interval of action for the action. Um, we want to do it instantly. Um, and then you have HTTP URL and HTTP content. You also have content type. So you can go in here and select plain text, HTML, application, JSON files, XMLs. Basically, if you're not a developer or you're not someone who's familiar with how HTTP requests work, this isn't going to be super useful for you. Um, but that's okay because I'm going to show you guys how to do it with the generic event call that we set up earlier. So if I go to my uh, create event call that I set up and I grab the content uh, here, right? Grab the whole URL. You know what? I'm going to copy the whole thing. And I just pop that in to the HTTP request URL, right? Then when I click that trigger, um, I should have um, an event come into my system. So let me, let me let's test it out and make sure I did it correctly. So grab back right two. Throw it in. All right. Oh, I forgot to change the name. Let me change the name real fast to do HTTP. So now I got do HTTP. Uh, when I click it, if I did it right, which it looks like I didn't, then you would see a generic event. So let's go in and play with it and see what I did wrong. So under HTTP request right now, I've got this information, right? It's actually taking out my uh, authentication. So I need to authenticate. Okay. So leave authentication type as auto. Let's try it one more time here. All right. Boop. There you go. So I sent in Nick's the bird used to be there. Tony's the bird used to be the word. This is from the 1950s. Generic event. Straight into NX Witness using the do HTTP request. Again, it's a, it's a powerful feature. Um, if you're not sure what to do with it, you can talk to one of your developers or one of your engineers. Uh, who may be familiar with HTTP requests. Um, a lot of third-party systems or devices will give you a format that they require you to send them an HTTP request in. Um, so you can go ahead and follow that to create these HTTP requests. But that's how do HTTP request works. Questions, Nick? No. Good, because most of this is going to be covered in advanced training. <laughs>